Welcome to McKellar Park for round four of the W League in a clash between two of the most storied clubs in the competition. The original heavyweights, if you like, of the home team, Cambria United, and the guest today, Brisbane Raw. Even at this early stage, it's a huge game for both teams today. And for Canberra, they need to continue with the momentum that they've had from the last week, weeks against Newcastle. And, and for Raw, it's uncharacteristic for them to be carrying no points uh, into this, this part of the season. And tonight's result will be cru crucial for both teams. Ross Buckham finds Stengel. Simone Charlie went early, Torsnes is there as well, and Charlie, the flag goes up, and this one counts. Yeah, a bit of flag, although Torsnes did cut across the run. Fortunate to get away with that one, here's Beret. Looking for the run down the middle of Razo, good ball too. Onto that right foot, bit of space out wide for Yalab, who curls one in, it's hit the crossbar, must be a goal, and it's turned in on the far post. India Page Riley is claiming it, it may well have crossed the line already. What is undoubted is that the raw lead. Well, a great little bit of a vision there from Hayley Vaso. So for her to receive, turn, face forward and see Tamika Yallop run into space. And I dare say Yallop's having a shot there, but finished off to, to make sure of that opportunity. And um, This will tell us, Ooh, can't quite see there, but it looked like the whole of the ball was over the line. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's either a goal for Yallop, her 50th, or a goal for Ilya Pedrali, her third. So at this point in the game, sort of credit to Brisbane Raw for coming out in the way the, the way they have, and they're looking more promising. Great ball from Gori, finds a bit of space for Baston. She fires well goalwards, and that's a decent stop at the near post from Sham Karmis. It needed to be made. Brilliant save there by Sham Karmis, and she's got herself into a wonderful position to, to be able to get, get in between that shot and the goal. Here come the Raw. Baston picks out Yallop. Yallop looks to return the favour. It's going to fall here for Riley. Pickett swings it in. Chantarazzo, opportunity that she heads over the crossbar. Mentioned a moment ago that heading wasn't a forte, but that's two absolute crackers. And she's met that one well and probably be disappointed she hasn't scored. Oh, look, Hayley will be very disappointed with that. That's just a brilliant delivery there from Carson Pickett. That's got to be on frame. She'll be really frustrated with her effort there that, that, that that's gone over, but that's a, a fantastic opportunity for Brisbane Roar. And um, yeah, I think ha Hayley Rasso will be kicking herself for that one. Wind's died down, turned into a beautiful evening in Canberra. That ball's looking for Razzo, and she's got there ahead of the keeper. And Hayley Razzo, biting the hand that used to feed her, scores on the return to McKellar Park, and the Roar double their lead five minutes before half time. May have been Rue one, but it was effective. What an assist there from Mackenzie Arnold, and <laughs> she will claim that. And really opportunistic by Hayley Russo. That's quite, that's quite a brave challenge to go in there with an oncoming goalkeeper. Easily invite a collision, but really brave work there by Hayley Russo. And what a finish for her to get her name on the scoreboard. It's been coming, and we've sensed her, her involvement in this game so far. Um, really pleased for her to be able to get in behind there and put that one away. And, I'm sure Mackenzie Arnold will be claiming that assist for, for a long time yet. It was well spotted. It was. And yeah. the delivery was superb. And here they come again. Canberra have coughed up the ball. It's Yallop. Danger signs once more. Yallop in on goal. Hits the post. Comes to Riley and she puts it over the crossbar. Could and perhaps should have been 3 0. Oh, you'd think so, Russ. And just saved by the woodwork there. But what a run by Tamika Yallop. Created a bit of space for herself. And once she's in the 18 yard box, you just expect her to be on frame, which she was. But saved by the frame. And they coughed it up again in a dangerous position. Riley. Yallop outside. Did she get a shot away? Looks for Razzo. First time hits. Couldn't get her head over the ball to keep it down. But once again, Canberra cough up chief possession. And Brisbane Raw could have taken advantage. Pulled out to the right for most of the game. Out to the flanks. Here's Riley in the central position. Razzo's coming onto it. Here's Haley Razzo looking to work the shooting opportunity. Finds Baisden. Fires it goalwards off the crossbar. Again, Riley Baisden. This time she beats Karmis but can't beat the woodwork. And United survive. Another fierce strike though from Riley Baisden. Loose ball. And a chance for Razzo to stretch the legs again. Good ball across the middle, and Karmis comes to collect. 
gives it away though, straight away. Dalton drives one, and Carmis pushes it over the bar for the corner. Great hit from Isabel Dalton from range. And hand up straight away there from Sham Carmis. Uh, the, the quick throw out from Sham actually put the team under pressure all over again, but she knew that, put the hand up in apology and, was, and forced herself really into making a, a really quality save, but just nudged that, that one out for a corner. Here's Camilla. Likes Torsnes to run at Tafen. Skips past the fullback Torsnes into the area. Can she find something in terms of delivery? She can't because once again, she has been all night Claire Polkinghorne in the way. It's been a really solid night tonight for, for Claire Polkinghorne. Um, like you say, positioning is really great. Uh, she's always in the way uh, of Canberra United defenders, but such an experienced campaigner. Um, she's got the speed, but also just the judgment as well to keep her feet and make a tackle at the right time. Bill did well to find Charlie. Fullbacks continue to run here. Chance to get something into the area. Might fall for Torsnes, struck it well. Not quite on target, but signs of life in Canberra United. Yeah, most certainly, Russ, and I, I think that's what Torshness has the ability to do. That was a, a late run at the far post, and she's able to just lose her player to get a shot on goal. Holkinghorn's turn to turn it over. Now here's Torshness. Chance into the penalty. Out. Torshness in on goal! It's a cracker! It's an absolute belter from Elise Torshness. Created it herself, and when it needed a finish, she gave it some violence. No chance for Mackenzie Arnold. Canberra United back in the match. And what a brilliant finish there by Elise Torshness. We just spoke about the tenacity and the physical presence that she had, the ability to run and get her body across Claire Polkinghorn, and Mackenzie Arnold hardly got a fingertip to that. That's a fantastic finish by Torshness and uh, absolutely got her team, Canberra United, back into the game. Eight goals in 11 W League matches. And that's not an easy finish from that angle. She has whacked that into the top corner. Simone Charlie. Off and running, can't force it past Celeste Beret, who has also been a rock solid. Picks a good pass forward to Baisden. Gets a return, here's a chance for Baisden and she's dragged it wide and that was a more than presentable opportunity for Riley Baisden. Pickett lines it up and she does go for goal and forces Karmis into a two-handed palm over the bar. Good pace. And very accurate from Carson Pickett. Yeah, great free, free kick there from, from Carson Pickett. And, and well done by Sham Karmis to get a good couple of hands on that and push it out for a corner. Um, she was well prepared for that one. Orgill into the penalty. A good cross to the headers in. Great save that is. A phenomenal stop. Karmis with the header and somehow Mackenzie Arnold has pulled out a brilliant save. It looked destined for the bottom corner from Karmis. What a stop that is. Oh, well, Lena's is just fantastic in the air. We know she likes the ball on her head, and fantastic save by Mackenzie Arnold there to keep that one out of play. Well won by Beret. Razzo's got the pace to get on the end of this. She has got there. It's Hayley Razzo. She could seal it here. It's Razzo at the double. Oh, and she's put it over the crossbar. Somehow, after doing all the hard work, Hayley Razzo has missed a sitter. Oh, I think the look on her face says it all there. Uh, trying to close this game out and again, so opportunistic by Hayley Rasso here to chase this one down. And the little glance up, she sees she's got an open goal. Just on the bounce there, is unable to get her head over the ball. And Bobbled see. horribly, didn't it? Just it, in it front did, of it did. And you can see the, the frustration in her face on, on not to finish that one. It's based in. Looking to get it back, Riley Baston. Gorry on the edge of the box. Looks for the shooting chance and forces another save from Sham Karmis. Pushing it around the post. Wonderful save. And Brisbane, as you'd expect, in no real rush to get on with this. Trade to Gorry. With a little waddle over to the corner. Heather Garriott is very frustrated about the amount of time that the Raw have taken. Here's Charlie looking to lift the crowd. Torsnes. Can United stage a smash and grab at the end? Camilla. Bit of space for Torsnes. Fires it across. Goal. Oh, and they've all missed it. Crofts was closest. Orgill picks up the pieces, swings it in towards Charlie at the near post. Might fall for Camilla, who drives one. It's deflected. 
It was Carmis rather, and it's wide for a corner. It's all happening at the end here. Good ball into the area, cluster of shirts. It falls for Kurt, sends it goalwards. The shot on the turn was blocked, and Brisbane survive. And the final whistle sees the raw triumphant for the first time this season. Mackenzie Arnold could take her share of the credits. A fantastic save to deny Lena Karmis what would have been an equaliser. But the first half goals from Tamiki Yallop and Haley Razzo have done the business. And a final score at McKellar Park is Cameron United 1, Brisbane Raw 2.